Okay, guys, this is called the uh, Smoking Lips. Yeah. <laughs> the stick of the fumes is carried by the flower bosomed woman. Her hand holds it with a surgeon's precision, a painter's delicateness, and a butcher's passion. Here's her voice. Her arm moving with the rhythm of her nicotine wanting pulse. She is fully striped with the colors of her body. Her lips, red as the rivers of war, embrace the sick as an old friend, and parts with sensual reluctance. All that follows is a substantial smoke lingering away from the gates of her passion, caressing the skin of her face. Implanting their cancerous kiss, they consensually irritate her vision and finally float away above our heads, over our illit city. Nothing but ashes remains. Only you can capture the snail in me, the slime of my path, the futility of my trial, climbing beyond and above the limitations of materials. Allow me to become nothing but the ashes, festering the warmth of your chest where I can suffocate your flower. Inhale me slowly so that I kill you slowly, and let us rock within one another inside your now milkless bosom. Uh, this one is called The Rape in the Household. Yes, I like rape. Surprise sex, eh? Surprise sex! She was surprised by surprise sex. Alright, you're serious now, guys. Shut the fuck up. Yes! Her body was mutilated by the vows of her marriage. Her spirit shackled down by a ring of cold. Yeah! Her body was mutilated by her vows of marriage. Her spirit shackled down by a ring as cold as her feelings and with friction, as irritatingly hot as his grunts and moist. The knife of the United Sexes cut her womb, and she was doomed to be breeding by the unwanted bastards of a holy bondage. Her eyes filled with the sadness that ran away from becoming the ooze of pleasure and bliss, leaving her as dry as a deforested land whose trees were plucked by the overbearing, controlling men. Her voice, once proud and loud, would not come out, muffled by the approved aggression, self-hatred, and noise of the kids outside in the park. And after the deed was done, nothing but silence arose. She laid there by a carcass, the body of a street prostitute held more dignity. She is separated from body, she doesn't acknowledge it nor does she have the luxury to. And his aftershave stains on her neck and his words resonate in a space separated by time. There are words more feared than death. Honey, I'm home. Woo! 